Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here in the channel is the No Matrix, No Simp, and All Subjects channel. So I want to talk about this is going to be Ninja News. I want to talk about the Astro Influencer. I'll put her name in there later. I was reading about this. That she has a online, she had an online following. And she was warning about the total eclipse and the spiritual warfare that would, would ensue with a lot of people when it happened. And she, in turn, killed her baby, killed her uh, boyfriend or whatever, and then crashed her car in the tree. So all, all three of them are dead. Look, man. Be careful. Be careful with these people who uh, are too fascinated with the unknown. So basically, the devil put thoughts in her head. She acted on them. See, that's why I believe, in part, that's why the Apostle Paul said that women should learn at home. So her baby never got a chance to grow up. Whatever her boyfriend, the partner, they just said partner. So I don't know if it was a girl, yeah, it's 2024, or a guy. Yeah, I know, I, I missed the 80s. All this old stuff people got going now. Like my father and my uncles and older people I grew up with, they wasn't perfect, but they wasn't doing all this old. This stuff. We, I'm sure it was eclipses back then. In fact, I know it was because I slightly remember. It was eclipses going on back then, man. You ain't never hear about nothing like this happen. Don't ever let no woman be your spiritual guy. I don't care if you ain't there. Get there. That the most high didn't even set things up that way, man. That ain't how he set it up. Because things like this, it can happen from guys too. But The first thing I thought about when I read that was how the Apostle Paul said that women should be silent and they should learn at home. So think about it. Let's say the guy that was a guy she was with, she should have just uh, learned from him. See, one of the problems with a lot of y'all guys Y'all go out of y'all way not to learn about and not to know about spiritual things. It's like you're useless to God. You don't even know this stuff. That's why they commit all these crimes. Just think about it. Here, like, I'm not saying I'm better, but here's the thing with me that kind of helped. Like, I always had, like, a... Uh, a belief in the awareness of God. I always had it. Like, like even when we was little, stuff like, and the dudes I grew up with, I be seeing them on Facebook. Like, a lot of them had a belief in the awareness, too. They just need to put it to practice more, some of them. We used to do stuff like, we'll put a pen to the ground because we used to say when it was raining and it was sunny at the same time it was a little superstition that the devil 
Well, I know the devil ain't no male no, but we had a superstition that the devil was beating his wife. Y'all ever heard that? Yeah, here in Milwaukee, that's what people used to say, like when it was raining and it was sunny at the same time. So we, even though some of our stuff was weird, like her stuff, you know, we always had a belief in the awareness. Be careful, you know, some people know about, like Donna Light know about all that stuff. You know, you go to his channel, uh, he, he know. I know about it too, but when I look at it, I look at it in a different light than uh, that, that chick did. But Donna Light be talking about all this stuff. He know about all this stuff, you know, so. Um, Don, D-O-N of light. So, yeah, man, I hate to hear stuff like that, man. I hate to hear stuff like that, but, you know, when it comes to the mind and it comes to the spirit, you always got to get in mind something, man. Whether it's affirmations, you could just meditate. If you're not a real spiritual spiritual person, you still can beat the devil just by knowing how to think. I'm telling you, if you know how to think, you still could beat the devil, man. Like if you know the thoughts, how to get rid of thoughts and how to keep thoughts, how to filter out your thoughts. That's what the Apostle Paul was talking about. Casting down imagination. You can still beat the devil. But people, I don't know what sometimes what people be thinking. I be seeing them. I watch them. Some people go out of their way not to be aware or not to know about the unknown and the spiritual. That's bad, too. And then some people, they take it too far. Like, yeah, you want to be watchful and mindful of the end of days and all of that. But you want to keep it in perspective. And you want to be more of an adept, uh, adaptive person. Like, if something happened where they change the world because, you know, they get bored and they don't like us to be comfortable. So they do a little strange stuff. You just adapt to it. And you get in the survival mode then. I remember Y2K. It was so many of 2012. 2012, I came out. This is when YouTube really start shadow better. My old video, I came out the exact day the year before. I said nothing was going to happen. December 21st, man, uh, 2011. I came out and said nothing was going to happen. And I showed them why. And that's when I started extremely getting shadow banned. Extreme shadow ban. They shadow ban my old channel more than they do this one. And I get way deeper on this one. They still shadow ban it. They favorite number. Like if you look at my views, let's look at my views. This is how you know when somebody is freezing views. You see all these different videos on different topics with similar or the exact same view count. Like you look at my video on Tristan Tate. You look at the video before that with uh, Danica Marie picture. Same exact views. Like, and they haven't grown. Then I had a video on the Packers you know when you put tags in there, anytime 
somebody this how this how it would work if it wasn't no Illuminati, no agents, not no little fraud or no unfairness in play. When you put a tag in, anybody that typed that tag, your video is gonna come up. Aries, like they start shadow banning tags and they start uh, recommending certain people. That's when all this stuff got worse. But I came out the year before and said nothing was going to happen. So I talk about those things because I'm, I'm one of the people that I know it's different elements of life beyond this dimension. Because I've had dreams and visions and I've gotten revelations. You know, heaven is going to be something else. We can't even fathom it. We don't even know all the different beings that's going to be in there. It's a reason why it's four living creatures mentioned in the Bible. That's the order. Like the Most High has order. Like people think that animals just going to die out and that's going to be the end. I wouldn't be surprised if it's every type of animal there. Even hyenas. They just going to act different. They ain't going to have to scavenge for food. I believe the four living creatures got something to do with that. He placed a living creature over the similar creatures to that creature. So he's going to be the most high God above all. But the creatures is going to have a different uh, life in heaven. Like the creatures, like for instance, this is how I believe it's going to be. And how I believe it is. The creatures, like a lion and a bear, is going to come up to the Most High and lay at his feet and he can pet him on the head. One reason why they attack him is because they don't trust us. And you'll be amazed at the spiritual connotations behind why animals don't trust us, why they run from us, why they attack us. Because you got to realize, the Most High don't have to be a mystery to animals. They already know. They already know. So... We get to heaven and we see stuff like people riding bears for fun. It ain't gonna surprise me. Like people making bears race, riding. You know how people Christmas carol? That's going to happen all day, all night. And people going to be happy to hear it. That's why when it comes to this type of stuff, man, just keep it in perspective. You'll get to eventually learn more. Learn right now what you can, but don't be take don't be going overboard with this eclipses and these multi 
dimensions and uh, life outside the earth and what's going on in Mars, all this stuff, man. And that's all I'm going to say. We ain't going to make that many videos today. We're going to be doing them, though. Uh, yeah, I know I like to take at least one day off per week. For this week, it's probably going to be tomorrow. No videos, day or night. Then I'll come back Saturday and Sunday with videos. Anyway, thanks for watching.